Good afternoon. Hello and welcome to InstaForex Economic News TV channel with us, Anneke Sattner. And Kate Nidachna. You are watching the weekly currency and commodity market review. So what currencies did Forex players prefer for investing their money the last week? Most likely American currency. The US dollar staged an impressive rally against its rivals by the end of the week. So what was the driving force behind the appreciation of the American currency? The gain were fueled by the recent auctions uh, taken by leading bank regulators as well as some macroeconomic statistics. On Friday, the Greenback ignored the release of weak economic figures from the United States and gained further ground, riding on a wave of fresh bullish bets in the currency market. In particular, the dollar yen pair rose by 1.70% on Friday, reaching 120.82. The Japanese yen spent most of the week trading in a narrow range before tumbling sharply on Friday, following the surprise policy decision made by the Bank of Japan. Over the week, the exchange rate of the Japanese currency versus its US peer slid by 2.8 yen. The Bank of Japan cut its key interest rate to minus 0.1 at the policy meeting on Friday, saying in a statement accompanying the decision that it was ready to consider further rate reductions if necessary. Aside from that, the US Federal Reserve left its federal funds rate unchanged as a result of the two-day board meeting, following the first rate hike in almost a decade adopted by the central bank in December. The euro-dollar per lost around 100 pips, aging lower to one point or 833 at the close of the week. The US dollar weakened after a batch of downbeat data from the United States released on Thursday. The pair then hit its weekly highs around 1.0964. The report provided by the National Association of Realtors indicated that the number of pending home sales in the US inched slightly higher falling short of average expectations. At the same time, new orders for loan lasting manufactured goods declined far more than anticipated. On Friday, the US dollar was able to recover its strength, erasing some of the euro's early gains seen last week. As a result, the single European currency advanced by only 39 pips over the week. According to the preliminary CPI estimates published on Friday, the annual inflation rate across the eurozone came in at 0.4% in January, in line with the expectations. Germany's retail sales dipped by 0.2% in December, falling to meet the forecast for a 0.5% growth. Moreover, another statistical report from the US came in worse than expected, reflecting slower GDP growth in the fourth quarter. That was all about exchange rate movements on Forex. Thank you for the currency pay overview, Kate. You're welcome, man. What was going on across commodity market last week? Prices for oil and gold took a significant upturn. What factors were responsible for the commodity market? Crude prices were bolstered by the prospects of a coordinated output cut by leading oil exporters. Gold also rose in value, supported by the release of soft US data. The rumors that OPEC and Russia were holding informal talks to curb crude production pushed oil prices higher, with investors stepping up purchases of black gold. More specifically, Russian Energy Minister Alexander Novak said that Saudi Arabia proposed 5% reductions in oil output by each OPEC country. On Friday, brand contracts for delivery in April appreciated by as much as 3.4% on the London-based ICE Futures Europe exchange, landing at $35.99 per barrel. The overall gains totaled 10.58% on the week. After the slump recorded on the 20th of January, brand prices were up almost by 25%. Nevertheless, the European benchmark ended January with a loss of 3.7%. March futures for WTI advanced by 1.2% in New York deals on Friday, closing at $33.62 per barrel. Over the entire week, the crude contracts went up in value by a total of 4.25%.
However, Texas Light Suite still posted a monthly drop of 8.9% in January. After January the 20th, the prices for U.S. crude oil climbed by 22%. Widespread hopes for a slower pace of rate hikes by the U.S. Federal Reserve rekindled speculative interest in gold among investors. February futures for the commodities soared by 80 cents on Friday, hitting $1,116.40 per troy ounce on the COMEX division of the New York Mercantile Exchange. On Wednesday, gold prices jumped to a three-month high at $1,128 after the Fed's monetary policy announcement. The yellow metal was up by 1.8% on the week. Gold prices closed out the month with a 5.4% gain. Anna, thank you for the commodity market review. You're welcome, Kate. You have been watched the weekly currency and commodity market review on InstaForex TV. It was presented to you by us, Kate Nidachina and Anika Satkina. Have a great day. Goodbye. See you.